Okay guys, my name is Ghost Boy Ghoul. If you've seen my previous videos, uh, I've made a few. Uh, I've been getting quite stronger since then. Um, so this is kind of like a high-end dolphin, low-end whale type run. It's more of just a, a playthrough, see what's going on. You can see what I've done. Um, try to make your own run better. Um, but it's it's not as much of a, as a walkthrough anymore. Uh, just because my characters have gotten to the point where they're um, a little stronger than the average everywhere, right? So, let me go over to my team I've been using for this dungeon ranking. Um, yeah, so at first when I was doing this, I was using her with her um, prism rod. But it, just, uh, but it seems like this is better than using the prism rod uh, on one of these characters was working out better for me. I actually haven't tweaked this team in maybe like 20 plus runs of trying this here. But yeah, th this is what I mean. Like I I got this OB6, I got his suit. Yeah, I put a pr prism rod over here instead. Um, keep in mind with the R abilities, you don't want to go over in anything. So 55 caps out physical attack here. And also a lot of the stuff, you know, like of course I've learned along the way as well. But uh, I, I watch all the other content creators, you know, so shout out to all of them, you know, Smelly Octopus, Pain Blade, um, Broadway Saiyan, um, they're all great, um, I'm, if I forgot your name, I'm sorry, I, I, I watch everyone, uh, but, you know, so there's influence from everybody here, so take, take it how you will, uh, I just wanna, wanted to say that too, just in case I mentioned something and someone goes, hey, this person said that or something, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, I, did, I didn't just come up with all this stuff on my own. Um, of course, there's a little bit, but let's see here. Um, like, she's got some fire because of Ifrit, but uh, you pretty much want to stack. Uh, if you have, like, extra elements, um, throw them towards, like, whatever your summon's going to be. So, like, Aerith has got Rama, so uh, this wizard staff is working well with her. Yeah, and, uh, this is pretty much my team here. Uh, like I said, it's a little OP, but, uh, let's just get right into it. Um, I'm gonna show you the route that I took to get to the position I'm in right now. However, there is a route that I've been trying that I think I could beat on a very lucky route, and I've been trying it maybe, like, 15 or so times in a row. I'm not gonna do it this run, but, uh... Once I get to that point, I'll let you know what that difference is. <clears throat> okay, let's get into it. So, I like to come up here, grab this. These guys don't really matter. Um... On the previous ranking dungeon, I would go into defense mode and just hit hit them with ruin or blows to build up my summon gauges. But since then, I have learned that the longer you're in your defense stance, the further you get away from full defense or full attack. And that is not really that good anymore. So now I, I just kind of get some ruin, ruin, ruin or blows or ruin res in and just toggle around. They're going to kill everyone a lot quicker. But I think even if I went into defense mode, my guys are too strong now. They're just going to kill everything pretty quick regardless. So, on all these little um, pop-up battles, uh, it's not a big deal. There's not as much of um limit or summon gauge building as there was in the last event dungeon. At least for me, at this point. Let's see here. Okay, now, uh, yeah, first things first, I go straight in for the mole, and I don't have a very strong Thunder team. Um, as a lot of people probably have Clouds Marasame, I only have that OB2. Uh, so I, and that's Cloud's best weapon for me. So I went with a full wind team, or two wins, and then uh, even Aerith has got her dress and just... Uh, 
and Aurora, and that's good enough with her um, Sun Umbrella. So, but because of that, I'm using three Thunder Cocktails right away. I'm pretty much getting the Thunder right out of the way here. After after I beat Mole, I'll show you what I do. It's I think it's a little different than what a lot of a lot of the other people are doing. But this is the route I did to get to the position I'm at now, and I'll show you what the difference is shortly. But uh, uh, the difference is to what how I think I can make the run a little better. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm a little tired. I've been up um, all night here, and it's 9:22 a.m. in the morning. Okay. So we want to take these guys out pretty quick. They'll die fairly fast. Hmm. Sephiroth is waiting, wasting his ATB. Let's target this just for so Sephiroth can. Oh, whatever. Not a big deal. You want to toggle around? Otherwise, sometimes. Oh, am I on auto? She. I think I was farming before this. Um. You want to be in manual or semi. And sometimes your units don't always attack right away. So you want to kind of switch back and forth between everybody. And just make sure everybody's attacking. There we go. Okay. Come on. And another. There we go. You could night bloom him if you want. It's not a big deal. I find I, I pretty well kill this guy around the same amount of time, whether I night bloom him or not. I've done runs where I just do straight thunders all around. Not, it doesn't make a big difference only having one magic defense down. Maybe if I did two, it would. Blazing Ray is coming up, but you want to kill him before that comes out. Come on. Are you... Gosh darn it. I'm supposed to be able to kill him before that comes out. We're just gonna do the run anyways. Get some heals in. So, uh, see, I'm running double heal too. See, now Tifa and Aerith both just healed there. And it pretty much fills me right up to max when they both do that. And they do it in the same second when you switch to defense mode to heal with one. The other person usually has enough, enough ATB. And I go into that second heal right away. Second AoE heal. My opinion, pretty OP. I was doing uh, the double heals ever since, like, um, Fairy Tail and Lifeguard Wraps were fairly um, non over boosted. I think I, I um, upgraded Lifeguard Wraps right away and got the wallpaper to OB2. But my uh, fairy tale back then was only like OB1, and I was doing that ever since the beginning, and it worked out great. So the run that is gonna make my score better um, I think is just going for all the score boosts but it is very difficult um, even when you pack on defense ups and cocktails it is difficult I've gotten the final mystery boss to barely any health left so on several occasions and I feel like I can beat it on a lucky run but for the run that I've been doing really well in I actually only get all the other score boosts and I get win potency here instead so, because uh, the next two pe the next two bosses that are weak to lightning, <clears throat> um, one of them is also weak to wind. The air buster is also weak to wind, so you can just use wind instead if you're running like a wind team, uh, like I am. You could go up here and fight the little ads up here if you want to try to build some gauges, but mine are full. Now he here's what happen. Here's what I do here. I'm going to use one lightning on Aerith because she's got Rama. So whoever you you have Rama, you might want to use the Thunder Cocktail here. Okay. And that should be good enough. Really, you just want to try to kill the Scorpion before he does his laser because his laser is likely to kill someone. Okay. Oh, that, that, that was a mistake. I want a Night Bloom first. Come on. 
and then Diamond Dust and Judgment Bolt. I'm saving my Hellfire. It doesn't even matter. I don't care about boosting the other multipliers. Um, Hellfire doesn't do like anything to these guys. I pretty much just save Hellfire for the end. It's fine. Now this is gonna be good enough. Let's just. I might not, I might not even need a um, Thunder Call. Weak to, weak to lightning, Sephiroth has a lightning uh, materi on him. He still goes for the wind move anyways. Mm -hmm. So much stronger it is with the, his suit and weapon. Okay. Alright, score boost, attack down. Oh. Okay. Now, Tifa's looking like she might die. <laughs> no, that's because of the darn mole. Yeah. Well, I'm going to use an arrow cocktail on Sephiroth here. And. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I need. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll try that. And hopefully Tifa doesn't die. Here we go. Mm Getting both heels in here. Good enough. This guy is also resistant to Ifrit Hellfire, so. or fire in general, I mean. So don't bother with Ifrit against this guy either. If you can manage to get one in on the mole, that, that, that works. But. Worrying about uh, sigil breaks, they do it automatically here. Got the heals in just in time. Let's go. I didn't even worry about the ad. You really want to get the air buster out of there as quick as you can. You don't really want them doing any damage to you. You might get that one AOE hit, AOE hit in, or you probably will, but it doesn't do too much damage, especially if you're a defense stance. Okay, more score boost. And then it's just a condor and then the mystery boss. Yep. Condor goes down pretty weak for me because I've got a wind team. Um, I think I don't even need to use a cocktail. I'm gonna spit I'm gonna have one spare here. We're already just strong enough, you know. Sephiroth's ATB is looking healthy. He's going to pop up a uh, Gale Strike right away. And while he's doing that, the others will be recharging their ATB. I'm going to switch over to Sephiroth and make, sh make sure he does it right away. And again. Come on. Let's go. Sonic Fire. Don't even worry about the ads. Let's go. Get an Aurora. Ooh, that's heavy. <clears throat> Little doltish faces just got me with that uh, hit right before I finished there, so I'm I am gonna have to heal um, either during the next fight or beforehand. I'm not sure if I'll use items beforehand yet or not. We'll see. And again, the score boost. 
I noticed in some other people's runs, um, some people who are more lightning heavy on their team, that they need to beat the Condor before the Airbuster. Because beating the Airbuster and getting the score boost, that you do actually lose some. Uh, <clears throat> you lose your magic defense. And uh, the Condor hits you with this Gale move that does a lot of magic attack damage if you don't kill him as quick as I did. But the only reason I killed him as quick as I did is because I'm, I have a really good win team. Right? So. Let's get a heal in. Nice. Let's get our heals in now, and then I might not have to use a tent. That'd be sick. Okay. But now I can't use all this stuff right away, because this has got a charge. Which is a little unfortunate. Hmm. It's actually rather unfortunate. If you launch it off right away, you can, you can hit the, uh... Giant dorky face, um, before he gets his defenses in. Again, I'm tired, guys. Sorry for my, uh, stalls. Okay. Let's see here. So here, because I took all that defense down, you definitely want to get the wisdom jelly up on everybody. I use wind on everybody. And my last lightning on Aerith, because she's got Rama. I think I might use a tent, too. You don't have to, but this is going to be good for me. The only thing I'm missing now at this point, I've got all my summons. I don't need the Mega Lexer, which uses a lot of points. If you can avoid using the Mega Lexer, that's what's up. Uh, tent is much better. ATB, not a big deal. They're going to recharge that in seconds. So, And it's already looking pretty healthy for Tifa and a little bit above um, regular for Sephiroth. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm using the tent. We don't want to die here. I'm not going to worry too much about... Uh, Tifa. I'm sure she'll be fine. The only 8% loss there. Let's see. Depending on if I, like, this is the exact route I did to get my record, so I could beat my own record potentially here. We'll see. And you want to take out the ads. You want to take out the ads. It's a bit of a slower fight, especially with both of the attack downs. And it's... Hard to survive sometimes, too. It's a real pain when you die to this one after going through everything you just did, you know? But it is what it is. Music's cool. Okay, let's get this in. Boom! This guy dead already yet? Oh, uh, let's get this in. Cool. Um... Yeah, let's let's go. Diamond Dust, Hellfire, Judgment Bolt. Let's get some defense in on one of the ads. I mean, some attacking on one of the ads. I didn't want to launch it right away because my attack stance wasn't full, and when it's in full, you get you get um more attack. So I didn't do too much. Yeah, not a lot of damage. Uh, let's get this other dorky face out of the way quick, if I can. Nice. And then, uh, and then into defense stance right before I go. Wow, good damage, guys. Heck yeah. Everybody's already working. Let's go. You know what? Break him. What am I doing? Hi, hi. Can't let this guy hit. Keep Night blooming him. Get the defense down. We're okay. This is it. This is it. Look at all that health. That was pretty good. That might even beat my record there. We'll see. We shall see. Sometimes I'm straggling there, like, uh, 
one person's dead, the other two are hanging on by a thread, and uh, that was pretty healthy. But yeah, that's the mystery boss. You, you'll get a bonus score for beating that one instead of the other one. Oh, not a new record. Not a new record. But it's pretty close to my record. So, yeah, that's pretty much my run. It's a lot of score. Um, I always forget to look at my score after every every individual boss. But it's fine. This is the score. At the end of the day, this is the score that matters. Your total. And uh, here it is. So, 60,000 from that. Unused items, 118. I think I've had like 120-something before a few times. Probably less um, cocktails, maybe not even the tent. Um, let's see. Yeah, not bad. 458,000. And that's with taking three score boosts, but not the one. And you get more wind potency, so you kill everything quicker, which adds to your boss takedown bonus. But, in all honesty, if you took that first, if you took that other um, score bonus and uh, even less attack, the the score buff bonus is going to outweigh the boss takedown bonus. Like, it will be more worth it, but it will be harder because everything is going to take longer to kill. And er everything... Yeah, yeah, everything will just take longer to kill. it, And it's crazy. Uh, like I said, I've died several times trying this route, but I've gotten really close. So, you could try that uh, if you've got a strong win team. This might be uh, a decent guide to follow um, like, Lucia's area of effect, um, Ma Wind Magic Gun, or Zack's area of effect, uh, Falchion, uh, does wind damage, like, oh, well, Lucia's gun's called the Pulse Gun, um, either way, you know, those weapons could work very well too in a team like this, yeah, um, give it your shot, that was mine, let me just go through, I'm in group 6 here, I'm sure some groups are easier and some groups are harder, but uh, I'll just go up to where I am here, just so people can see their names. If yours is in here, leave a comment, you know, if you see your name. If you're in my group. Uh, there I am. Okay. And then in my friends, I'll just go up to me too. Oh, there I, there I am. I'm second in the friends list. But hey, all right, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Um, and uh. Hit that subscribe button, give it a like, leave a comment if you can, go follow me on Twitch, check me out on Twitch, I go live whenever I can, sometimes it's often, sometimes it's not as often, it's what it is, I'll always be streaming when I can, and uh, hope you have a good day, good luck.